It is a question everyone asks this time of the year. What may the winter be like? And as we get into the late fall and toward December, things start to become a little bit more clear. But the first piece to the puzzle every year is figuring out what's going on in the oceans, especially around the equator and the Pacific. Right now, we are in an El Nino. This started to develop earlier this year, and it's the first time we are heading into a winter in an El Nino in four years. The last few, we were in a La Nina. This means the water temperatures in this part of the Pacific are quite a bit above average and it can influence the weather patterns worldwide. So when NOAA came out with their winter outlook last week, that really is what it's hinging on an El Nino pattern. And typically in those winters, it's warmer through the northern part of the country compared to average. And that's what they're expecting this winter, including here in New England for December, January and February. The outlook is for a high chance for above average temperatures here in New England. What about precipitation? We are right on the edge of what they are forecasting to be above average precipitation or wetter than average this winter. That doesn't necessarily mean all snow, but it means in terms of liquid, it'll likely run above average. And that pretty much matches up with an El Nino year, particularly over the southern U.S. with a jet stream coming in off the Gulf of Mexico that's loaded with moisture. So it's still a little early to really get a good handle in on the winter, but Rachel and I I'll be looking over these factors over the next couple of weeks and coming up with our winter weather outlook, which we'll have for you in late, Nove late November or early December. A couple of the other factors we'll be looking at how the weather trends during the month of November, snow cover over in Siberia and northern parts of the hemisphere and some of the long range computer models. But right now, odds seem pretty good. It'll be a warmer than average winter. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.